how to get more local leads for your business. If you're looking to get more leads for your local business, service business, then there are a few basic things you need to do right. Um, it's, it's no good spending money on advertising or um, on um, SEO or all these great things if you are not uh, op, uh, you're not sorting out your reviews. Uh, let me just see if I can show you. So I'll just pick something randomly. Um, so let's take the plumbers, Christchurch. <clears throat> So what you've got here, you've got adverts, and then you've got Google My Business. What you've got to remember is that 70% uh, of people search on a mobile phone. So the first thing they're going to see is the ads. So there's three ads there, four ads there. And then the next thing they're going to see is the three pack, the map pack. Um, it doesn't cost anything for clicks on the map pack and it will link to your website it shows reviews as you can see these reviews here there's quite a few reviews um, and that is an important factor on people choosing a company is their reviews so these are all got high reviews which is great <coughs> and then we've got the other part of google which is the the top like the 10 top listed the top 10 websites for this particular search plumbers christchurch <coughs> now there's a few things that you can do um obviously if you're not on page one and being plumbers christchurch doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get more inquiries if you're on page one for that because the intent of the search is not it is not Plumbers Christchurch, they could be looking to sell things to plumbers. They could look, be looking at, um, uh, yeah, basically to sell things to plumbers or tools or equipment or advertising or whatever. They're not, there's no intent in the search. Emergency Plumbers Christchurch, now that's telling us they have an emergency and they need a plumber or 24 hour or Plumbers Christchurch 24 hours, then we know there's an issue and particularly if it's out of hours. So that's an intent search. So the other thing that you'll see, if we open up more businesses um, and look at the Google My Business, there'll be a lot of people um, that won't have, that have been in business a long time, but won't have a lot of reviews. So you've got one here that's got 19, been in business 10 years, got 19 reviews. Um, and uh, there'll be ones that are worse than that. But this isn't too, 19 again. And what you'll find is Google will hide the ones that have hardly got any reviews, 10 reviews there, you see seven years. Um, this one's got a 3.9, which is gonna affect, it's only got 17 reviews and it will, that will affect their business, um, 10. So say if it's somebody like this, that's got a, 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 like 3.9 and only 17 reviews, then that is going to that's going to be like um, a millstone around their neck that's going to cause the issues for their website because and and um, and certainly it's not necessarily going to show up even if you the original idea of Google Maps is it will show up when you're nearby that the closest plumber to you will show up but if it's got hasn't got enough reviews or it's got substandard reviews then that will affect the amount of business you can get from it um there's one there for 482 it's not too bad um people are looking see here we got some here look um six six seven years in business six reviews um doesn't give you confidence um when it's under 15 15 reviews it could be family and friends and employees that could be putting those reviews in so people are looking see 12 here 12 see what three so the first course of action if you want leads in from your business is you need to harvest reviews and then you get the next question is people are worried about uh, asking for reviews and feedback well, there are ways that can help you harvest better reviews or better feedback. You can
can use a feedback system um, to find the good reviews. Um, but you must have a system in place. It doesn't have to be onerous. Just at the end of the job, you give them a card, a feedback card, and let them give you feedback. Uh, and get the then the, uh, and so you learn from that you learn what your customers like and don't like and they're more likely to give you and you don't call it a review you call it feedback because that's what it is you want to know what you can do better and that will help you so that's a way the first thing that needs to be sorted out um, before you go anywhere because it's no good attracting uh, leads to your business if your reviews are no good. If you'd like to learn more about getting and harvesting leads locally, then we will uh, be doing a series of videos on the different pointers that will help you harvest more leads. We're, um, my name's James Roberts, it's Kingfisher Digital, we're based in New Zealand and we help local businesses get leads now, we help them harvest reviews, and we, we also have, help them harvest long-term leads. The biggest problem that's out there is people build a website and forget it. And it completely just gets overgrown and doesn't do anything and doesn't get any leads for you. We are a sort of full system. We help customers all the way through from woe to go uh, by getting instant leads for them, by getting the reviews up to date, and um, by also getting them ranking on Google, um, because it takes time to rank on Google. Uh, but reviews are important and instant leads are important, but we will help you do that. But if you would like to do it by yourself, I will show you on other videos things to look out for. Cheers, bye.